On this episode of How To XRGB Mini, we are going to take a look at the brand new feature added to the FrameMeister with the new 2.0 firmware upgrade. The XRGB Mini has a micro SD card slot, which is how I've always performed firmware updates. That slot is now much more versatile, as we can now actually save and load profiles off an SD card. In the past, when switching between systems on the same input, you would have to manually change all of your settings. However, now we can save them. First, I'm going to set up the FrameMeister using my Super Nintendo settings. Once complete, go to the Data menu, then select Save New. Next, I'm going to fire up my Sega Genesis and repeat the process using the settings I've offered in a previous video. Again, I'm going to navigate to the Save New and Save the Profile. Next, I'm going to power down the XRGB Mini, remove the SD card, and view the contents on my computer. I'm going to rename the two saved profiles, SNES 1 and Genesis 1, and then place the card back into the Mini. After powering on, then rebooting, we can navigate back to the data menu and select the Load option. Now, after playing some UN Squadron on the SNES, I can simply swap cables, load my Genesis 1 profile, and then play some Biohazard Battle without having to fiddle with a dozen settings. The XRGB Mini has always been an awesome product and the best way to display retro video games on modern televisions. The ability to create profiles and save them to an SD card really puts the device over the top. 